5 popular exercises can be dangerous for you. Some exercises can cause more damage than progress for your health. Creating issues like unnecessary tension in the neck, spine, and shoulders or too much stress on your joints. There are also exercises that are so ineffective you will just be wasting your time doing them. The good news is that there is a suitable replacement option for each of them. Number 1. Sit-ups versus Leg Raises This exercise may be popular, but that doesn't mean it's effective. In fact, sit-ups are even worse for your lower back than crunches. On the other hand, leg raises are a simple but very effective exercise for your core and thighs. Another good alternative is plank. Number 2. Crunches versus Plank We all want to get a flat stomach but crunches are really not the best way to achieve this goal. They are both ineffective and unsafe. If you are a beginner, it's natural to pull your neck too far forward, putting way too much stress on it. And if you already have strong abs, you will have to do endless crunches to get any results. And your low back won't forgive you for that. On the other hand, we all love doing plank to different degrees. It's one of the most beneficial exercises and you can always adjust it to your own level. There are a few variations of this exercise so you can always adjust it to your personal comfort level. Standard Plank Stay on your hands instead of your elbows, keeping the arms straight. Single Leg Plank Lift one foot to hover off the floor. Knee Plank Stay on your knees instead of your toes. Number 3. Tuck Jumps vs. Traditional Jumps This is where you do squats or burpees then jump and tuck your knees up toward your chest. It may look cool but it puts so much unnecessary stress on your knees and ankles without any real benefits. On the other hand, jumping raises your heart rate and it's beneficial for weight loss. If that's what you're working on and you really like jumping at the end of squats or burpees, avoid tucking your knees. This way, you still increase your heart rate but don't put too much pressure to your ankles and knees. Number 4. Side Bands vs. Side Plank Crunch This exercise is a waste of your time at the gym. If you decide to do it to lose unwanted fat on your sides, it's not going to happen because you cannot lose fat in specific spots, not only in the body as a whole. Plus, this exercise forces you to bend your spine sideways which is very unnatural movement. On the other hand, side plank crunch works on core, shoulders, back and arms. Number 5. Back hyperextensions versus back raises. Back hyperextensions put a lot of strain on your lower back simply because of the lower back is not meant to extend much beyond the neutral position. On the other hand, back raises target the same area and are just as beneficial but they are a much safer exercise for your lower back. Important note. Remember that it is always better to be safe than sorry. If you have any medical concerns, have a chat with your doctor or physiotherapist first to check and see if there are some exercises that you should avoid and how to replace them. If you are new to the gym world, it is very beneficial to book a few sessions with a personal trainer to learn how to do the exercises correctly. Quality in workouts is always more critical than quantity. What do you think about this list? Do you know any more exercises that are not safe to perform? Tell us about your thoughts in the comments below. Stay fit and stay safe. If you like our video, give this a thumbs up and share with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe our channel so you never miss any of our upcoming informative videos like this. Thank you so much for watching.